Hello and welcome to this week's NPL. Our part is Bedford and a great initiative this year with FFSA having its first season of a disability football league. So thanks to Bedford for getting on board with that. Our special guest for the NPL from Metro Stars, Hamish Gow. How are you, mate? Good, thanks. All right, welcome along. Um, tell us a little bit about your background. I think you were a junior at Parra Hills, is that right? Uh, yeah, I started at Parra Hills when I was 10 yep. and played there all juniors and then moved up to Metro in Righto. 2016. Okay, tell us about the last couple of years you've broken into the side. It's always been a very, very strong team at Metro. How hard has it been for you to get into the side over the last year or two? It's been very hard. It's a good team. I play in the midfield, so yep. there's some great midfielders there. Um, I started in the under-18s and then slowly moved up and yep. then started to break into it last year. Yep. And now... You're a regular. Me. Yeah, starting Fantastic. Now, what do you do? You're at uni, is that right? Yeah. And what are you doing? Just studying a Bachelor of Business. Bachelor of Business. Yeah. So one day you could run the FFA or something yeah, like that or FIFA or whatever. <laughs> yeah, take over. No worries. Um, now, I saw the game you played earlier in the year. You beat Comets 4-1. You've got Comets this weekend. And I think they're coming off about five losses in a row. So you might be getting them at the right time again. Yeah. Well, we've had a few draws recently as well. Yep. So we're hoping to pick up three points yep. this week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know if you remember the, the, the day, but you went down one. You were one nil down against Comets and then kicked four, put four into the back of the net. You are, a, you, when you're on song, you're quite an attacking side, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, we are. We like to move the ball quickly, go forward, play wide areas and get balls in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What's Big Robbie like as a coach? He's a good coach. He knows what he wants from his players. He knows how to motivate us and doesn't take anything less. <laughs> nah. All right. Hard man. All right. Let's quickly have a look at the results from last week. Well, it's two weeks ago uh, because of the Cup and World Under Olympic last week. Two great win for the club, their first trophy. So West Adelaide and Blue Eagles 1-1, which is a, a good result for West Adelaide. I know they need some wins, but I think they've had about five draws in a row. So they're certainly getting better. They're improving, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're starting to move up in the ladder. Uh, Comets went down to Olympics. So Olympic have had a good few weeks. Croydon, Power Hills, 0-0. Metro, South Adelaide, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, how did you find the Panthers? I mean, they have been struggling, but uh, they clearly put three past you into the back of the net. Yeah, they um, caught us on the break a couple of times. We kept most of the ball, but they caught us on the break and took yep. their chance as well. Yeah, all right. What about you fellas playing at home? Is it a bit of a fortress there. You seem to play that ground very, very well. Is, tell me, am I right in saying, is that a slightly bigger ground than a lot of the others? Uh, yeah, it's. I think it's one of the biggest ones yep. now in Adelaide. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we're starting to make it a fortress. We yeah. was beforehand, before we, uh, the renovations, yeah. and they were trying to... So is it, is it tiring playing on a bigger ground? Nah, I don't. No? Uh, I like it. I like you? running. Yeah. You're a good runner? Yeah. All right, good stuff. And Liam Wooding, obviously, transferring from South Adelaide back to your club as well. Gee, what a player to get back halfway through the year. Yeah, great player. I think any club would have been happy to take him on yep. South Adelaide. But, yeah, it's good to have him back in the midfield. All right, let's get to the Player of the Year of Oates. Thanks to James Threadgold Jewelers and that Tag Hoyer watch was a great prize to have. This bloke, Hamish McKay, just keeps getting votes every week. Have you played against him a couple of times? Ah, uh, yeah, we've played against him one so far this season. Played well. I yep. think he got three points that week. Yeah, well. he did. To start, he getting votes from both coaches. He's been, uh, since coming back in the last couple of weeks, has really helped Blue, e Blue Eagles get back on track. Uh, Welshie getting three votes there for Comets. Matt Halliday's a very consistent defender, isn't he? Yeah, very, always has been. Yep, Adam LaCorny as well. Good to see him getting the votes. Yangi getting votes from both coaches. We like to see that. Also, Luigi Detroit from Campbelltown. Uh, as we take a look at the leaderboard and still Hamish McCabe way out on 47 votes. Dylan Smith, 29. And your man, Liam Wooding, is still hovering around. And, and to see him get so many votes in a side at South Adelaide that was struggling as well. He's uh, obviously done very, very well. Uh, Hamish, let's have a look at this week's games. Uh, and we say this all the time, but there are no easy games. Campbelltown are going very, very well, but it's not easy to play at South Adelaide, is it? Nah, it's not easy at all. They'll get some decent results down there. Yep, they certainly do. West Adelaide, Adelaide United. Well, West Adelaide needs some points. Parry Hills at home to Blue Eagles. Uh, maybe the match of the round, Adelaide City and Raiders. How do you see that one going? Uh, I see that uh, Raiders will get on top. They'll have a win. Yeah. At Adelaide City. Yeah, they're playing well right at the moment. They're getting some wins. All right. You blokes against uh, Comets. I guess you're thinking Metro will win that one. Yeah. And <laughs> Olympic against Croydon, also another very, very good game. So enjoy this weekend at the NPL. Hamish, thanks for coming nice. in and good luck to Metro nice. this weekend. Thanks for having me. Against the Comets and uh, we'll see you next week.